Hi guys, I'm David with Media Unlocked, and today I'm going to be talking about shooting, I guess, high quality HD video. I get a lot of comments from people that ask why my videos look so clear and they can't get their videos to look as clear as mine. Um, there are a few different things that you can do to help your videos look nice and clear. Um, and as far as doing your settings with your camera and editing with your editing software. So in part one, we're going to go over some of just the basic stuff of things that you need to set up with your camera um, before you even put it into the computer and start editing it. So things that are kind of important, I've kind of made a list right here of things that I find that really help me with shooting nice HD video. I think the number one thing for me that's really, really important is lighting. Um, here in a minute, I'm going to actually show you the lighting that I have on me um, that allows this uh, video to look pretty nice right now. So lighting is really big. If you don't have good lighting, then it's really going to hurt you. So on top of lighting, um, the right type of lens in certain situations are really going to be important. Um, like here you go, this is a 50 millimeter 1.8. So this goes down to a 1.8 um, f-stop, which allows you to, again, get the right lighting in a certain situation if you're like in a darker situation. A lot of people probably have trouble getting really good lighting or, or nice quality video in a uh, not as well lit situation. So having the right type of lens for that is really going to help out, something that has a lower f-stop. The problem with that is you're going to get a depth of field problem. So something like this, um, it would be good in low lighting, but the depth of field is not going to be that, that, that great, because, or it's going to be great. The depth of field is going to be very much a lot, and therefore will be difficult to have you focus. If you're trying to focus on a, on a larger object, it's only going to focus on certain parts of that larger object because of the depth of field, because you're going down to a 1.8 f-stop. So having lenses is important. Um, so that, that's very important. And then your camera settings, understanding ISO, aperture, and shutter speed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw a link up right here. And it's going to talk about, actually, I'm going to throw two links up. There's two different ISO, aperture, and shutter speed videos I have. They both explain things a little bit different. One's a little bit newer than the other one. And uh, so click on both of those links right up here. They'll walk you through the ISO, aperture, and shutter speed. That's really important to understand your ISO, aperture, and shutter speed so that you can get the right quality um, video. As well, right here, I'm going to post a link to uh, how to focus. Focusing can be a big part in your shooting as well, making sure that your subject is in focus. Um, if you don't know how to manually focus, I actually have a video that kind of just, it's real basic. It teaches you some basic rack focusing stuff, and it will actually show you a little bit about focusing. So I'm going to put a link right there to that video, which I think could really help you out. Um, understanding certain things of the camera, before you really can get into the bigger part of, of everything, uh, really helps out. Um, you know, next is, uh, is white balance. <laughs> Understanding how to get your white balance just right. Again, I'll put a link over here to the white balance video and I'll walk you through the basics of setting up your white balance settings on your camera. So those are some of the biggest things that, that I find to be the, uh, the biggest problems in getting your, your video done right. So understanding what type of lens you need for the shot, settings, making sure you understand your aperture, ISO, and shutter speed, as well as your white balance. And then lighting. Lighting is massively huge. Uh, again, like I said, I'm going to show you here in a minute. I'm going to let you see my lighting setup um, as we're shooting. So those are big. And then one of the other things that some people do not have the luxury, and, uh, and I just recently got lucky and got myself a 5D Mark II right here. Now, this camera uh, is great in the lighting. It allows you to go to a higher ISO, where like I'm shooting on the T2i right now. And, uh, and you can see, actually, I will show you when I turn my lights off. Um, I'm going to turn my lights off. I'll reset my settings to the best, best quality I can get with just the lighting of the overhead lamp that I have going on up here. And you're going to see the loss of quality quite a bit. So, um, so having good lighting, I think, is, 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 is a must-have in most situations. And then uh, we'll talk a little bit about, or I can talk a little bit about, you know, lighting in like a club or something. Um, I actually would get something like this. I'm using this right here. <clears throat> this light right here, you could attach to the top of your camera. You could attach this to the top of your camera. And this would give you some lighting. And this would uh, make shooting in a, in, a, um, in a club or in a really, really dark situation, if you just need to focus on a single person or a couple different people, this will give you some okay lighting um, for that situation. 
so and then after after all that's done um, in part two I'm gonna talk about uh, importing the footage into uh, Adobe Premiere that's what I used to edit so I'm sorry for anybody that does uh, you know of Sony Vegas or after or, um, Final Cut Pro um, I'm not gonna be doing any tutorials on it but I'll be going over how I import it into Adobe Premiere and then export it out of Adobe Premiere to keep my quality as high as possible so that my video footage looks nice and crisp um, so like I said I was going to actually show you what it looks like how I have my light set up right now so let's let's move move this camera here and let's back all the way out so as you notice I have um, one light right here that's shooting right onto me a second light is going to be up here and then I have a third light here so the, lighting's re the lighting really, really helps quite a bit. Now, when I'm doing a product shot, I don't know if you've seen the lighting on, like, if I'm shooting the video camera. What I do is I bring, I bring these, lights, these lights in a lot closer, and then I'll focus right on, right on this. So I'll bring them in considerably closer and get good lighting in that way. So I'll kind of bring my lighting in, maybe maybe not that close, maybe that's a little too close to when I normally bring it in. But then again, I do have a zoom, and then I can set my tripod up, and then I would just zoom into the specific. I'd be a little bit closer, of course, as you guys have seen some of my Magic Lantern videos. Um, I'd be zoomed in real close to the back of the camera, where you guys could see the screen and everything really good. And, and then I have really, really nice lighting so that I could show you different functions of a camera or, or whatnot. So, um, so now what we're going to do as I'm talking is I'm going to turn these lights off. So, and you're going to see the lighting in this room go downhill quite a bit because lighting, like I said, is very big. So if I was to shoot in a room like this, this is what my lighting looks like right now. Um, I'm sitting at uh, F11 uh, with an ISO of... I actually don't know. My ISO is 800, and my ISO is 800, and then my uh, shutter speed is 31. So if we bring my f-stop down, you're going to notice it gets a little bit better. And the only light I'm using right now, as you guys can see, I'll just zoom out or pull up to it, is just this lamp light. Now, I do need to white balance, but you really can't white balance while you're shooting. So this is the best I can make my lighting right now. I could make it look a little bit more white balanced. Um, I could bring this up to 1600, but you're gonna notice probably some graininess in there. So uh, that's 1600. So there's gonna be a little bit of graininess in that type of shot, and you really don't wanna go that high in the ISO when it comes to a Canon T2i, which is what I'm shooting with right now. So that, again, that makes it really difficult to get that high quality, nice uh, HD look to your video without the proper lighting. Um, so we'll do a little bit of shots in um, some darker situations um, for part one. And uh, hopefully this is helping you guys out a little bit. And if you have any questions, of course, leave comments, uh, send me a message. So uh, yeah, we'll do some darker shots uh, later on this evening. And uh, hopefully this, again, helps you guys out. All right, guys, so it's a little bit darker outside. So I thought I would show you kind of what the video looks like in a little bit darker situation. Um, it's kind of getting closer to dusk. And I'm shooting on the T2i with the 18 to the 18 to 55 uh, kit lens. And as you guys can see, uh, it's actually not too too horribly lit here in the room. It's not bad. Um, there's probably a lot of noise in the video right now. I'm sitting at a 3200 ISO with a 30 shutter speed and a 5.6 f-stop. So if I want to bring my f-stop all the way down to Let's see here, zoom all the way out, bring all the way up, stop all the way down to 3.5. Again, with the T2i, T3i, T4i, really the max ISO you want to go is 800, so we could bring it down. So this is about as high on your ISO as you want to go. The shutter is as low as it's going to go, and the f-stop is as low as it's going to go. So as you can see, if I zoom in, it's going to get a little bit darker because all the way out, my f-stop is going to come out to 5.6. All the way in, my f-stop is going to be at 3.5. So as you guys can see, I'll just kind of float around the room here. Um, 
it's still a little bit darker. And that comes back to the simple fact what I was talking about earlier, you just need lighting. Lighting adds so much to your shot. Um, and I think that's where a lot of people are having problems with getting that nice quality HD look on their videos is they just don't have the proper lighting. As well, I'm shooting at a, uh, 1920 by 1080 at 24 frames per second. Uh, people that do PAL, they'll be shooting at 1920 by 1080 at 30 frames per second. So hopefully this helped you out. This is part one. Again, in part two, we're going to go over the actual editing side of things. So um, I'm pretty much going to just videotape me editing this video and walking you through through things. And I'm sure there's some stuff out there that you guys may notice when I'm editing that I could change. So uh, don't don't feel bad. Leave me a comment. Let me know. Um, this is all my this is my perception of getting the best HD video that I've learned so far as a videographer. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed part one.